con Pepe y estos. Pepe y estos son. Wave unto Jesus. Jesus is faithful. Yes, to the Mominif. Our God is a faithful God. Mungu es to the Mungu Mominif. Really? Hakika. This movement. Uh, was revealed by God as we were seeking God. So we can put this movement on the seven pillar on the seven pillar of uh, the seven seventh pillar Katika of the vision. Katika ile ngao ya saba ya maono haya. The outcome of seeking matokeo ya kumtafuta au kutafuta impacting kuweza kuleta mguso so it came in a moment where i was i was praying ilikuja wakati nilipokuwa katika maombi and i was crying na nilikuwa ninalia because of many suffering kwa sababu ya mateso mengi i went through ambao nilikuwa nimeyapitia in my calling katika wito wangu as a woman kama mwanamke i cannot recall all siwezi nikayakumbuka yote but we all know that if you are a woman lakini unafahamu kama wewe ni mwanamke you are called into ministry na umeitwa katika huduma many people will not understand you watu wengi hawakuelewi so you go through persecution kwa unapitia mateso from the culture you go through persecutions from religious people you go through persecutions from men you go through persecution from women I used to think that it's only men who are persecuting women in ministry But I came to realize women persecute women But I came to realize even women persecute women So we men who hold you they will despise you for you not to, to to move forward but women also they will say who does she think she is so i i really realized that the devil was behind all these things when i reached the level of apostleship that's when the pain was really really hard because then you experience a uh, rejection rejection for the name or the office of apostleship lamba kuna ile kukataliwa kwa jiri tu ile jina ama ofisi ya kuwa mtume but rejection even for a woman to be an apostle lakini pia kukataliwa kwa sababu ni mwanamke ndio umekuwa mtume so i was crying kwa ni kwa nalia and before then lakini kabla ya hapo I was pursuing the calling because God spoke to me that uh, after 14 years of my calling the, I will sit in this office of apostleship. Nilikuwa bado naelekea katika ule wito kwa sababu Mungu aliniambia ya kwamba baada ya miaka 14 ya wito ambao alikuwa amenitia nitakuwa katika hiyo hiyo hatua ya kuwa mtume. So I was pursuing that. Kwa nilikuwa bado naenda kusonga mbele kukimbizia hilo. Kwa sababu nilikuwa najua siku moja itatokea. So I was happy to minister in church. Kwa nilikuwa ninafurahia sana kuhubiri kanisani. Nilikuwa nafurahia kuwa mchungaji. Lakini bado nilikuwa nakimbizia ku katika ile hali yangu ya wito. So when I was pursuing that calling, kwa wakati nakimbizia hali yangu ya kuwa na ule wito, in the pastoral office, na nilipokuwa katika ile ofisi ya kichungaji, truly speaking, kusema ukweli, I didn't have a burden for women. Nilikuwa sina kabisa moyo wa wanawake. For me I was like, uh, me I'm, I'm for the whole church, I'm not for women. Nilikuwa nasema mimi bwana nimeitwa kwa ajili ya kanisa zima, so kwa ajili ya wanawake. And when we have meetings, uh, women meetings, I will not sometimes I will not even participate. Na wakati mwingine hata tunapokuwa na mikutano tano ya wanawake hata uenda nisijihusishe kabisa. So in my nature, kwa katika hali yangu mimi mwenyewe, ningeweza singeweza kutafakari ama kuliona kwa hivyo lilivyo. But it happen when you are seeking God, lakini inatokea kwamba unapomtafuta Mungu, and he start revealing hidden things. Na anaanza saa kukufundisha vitu vilivyofichika. So after I have reached this this office, kwa nilipoingia sasa katika hiyo ofisi, I was crying one day. Nilikuwa nalia siku moja. Recalling all my pain. Nikiwa ninakumbuka maovu yote. All my pe- of my persecutions. Na mateso yote niliyoyapitia. And I heard a voice. Na nikasikia sauti. You did not suffer for nothing. Haukuteseka bure. 
you are a pioneer. Kwa sababu wewe ni mwanzilishi. Those suffering mateso hayo they were not for you alone haikuwa sio kwa ajili yako wewe peke yako because you are in the front line kwa sababu uko kwenye mstari wa mbele but many women lakini wanawake wengi they are still down there bado wako kule chini they need to see someone who made it wanataka kumuona mtu kule juu ambaye tayari amefanikiwa and they say if so and so did it i can do it alafu waseme kama fulani na fulani ameweza hata mimi naweza you suffered umeteseka to remove that tabu ili uweze kuondoa huo mwiko because it was like a blasphemy kwa sababu ilikuwa ni kama hali ya ku, ya, ku, ya kudharaulika not only to see a woman as a woman as a pastor or a woman of god na sio tu kumuona mwanamke kama mchungaji au kama mwanamke wa Mungu but to see a woman as an apostle au kumu, lakini kumuona mwanamke kama mtume it is so challenging ni kitu ambacho ni changamoto sana let me tell you ngoja nikwambie no one can stop the move of god hakuna anayeweza kusimama misha mwelekeo wa Mungu In all those suffering katika mateso hayo yote I used to see small small breakthroughs Nilikuwa naona vitu vichache vichache vikifanikiwa We were invited in a conference Tungeweza kualikwa katika kongamano There are like five men Kama kuna wanaume watano And there will be two or one woman Au kuna wanawake wawili na au mmoja So I will be I will be shaking in my spirit Ningekuwa ninatetemeka ndani ya moyo wangu I want to encourage you Lakini nataka nikutie moyo God knows Mungu anafahamu that men resist women ya kwamba wanaume wao wanawakata wana wanawake so by that resistance na kwa hiyo hali ya kukataliwa God release a special grace over women Mungu anaachilia neema ya tofauti juu ya wanawake so you find yourself in a conference utajikuta huko katika kongamano with five speakers na wakiwa na wazungumzaji watano maybe you are one woman na labda ni mwanamke peke yako guess what unatufikiria nini after people have heard about all the four men watu watakapowasikia wale wanaume wote they are now eager got to know what is she doing is, is she going to talk about wanataka kusikia huyo mwanamke sasa ataongelea nini the moment you stand utakapotusimama god release a grace Mungu anaachilia neema juu yako. God release his power. Na Mungu anaachilia nguvu yake. Then they start seeing manifestation. Alafu wanaanza kuona vitu vinajitokeza. The power of God. Wanaanza kuona nguvu za Mungu zikipita. Oh. Wanasema eh. Hey. So it's possible. Eh hey, kumbe inawezekana. And you see after the conference people are running toward your Na baada ya ile kongamano kila mmoja anakimbilia kwako na kimbilia na kuja kusikiliza. They said we were blessed. We Wanasema eh hey, tumebarikiwa tumebarikiwa. And then I say oh so it's possible. Asma kumbe inawezekana inawezekana so nataka nikutie moyo there will always be mara zote kutakuwa somebody as a martyr kuna mtu ambaye atakuwa kama kiongozi ama atakayeonesha mtu ambaye atateseka ata, ata, ata ili aweze kuonesha wengine kwamba inawezekana hallelujah amen then i said in my heart alafu nikasema moyoni mwangu yes ndio i will not complain every day sitaweza kunungunika kila siku i will not complain always sitanungunika kila wakati i will put aside my my complaint nitaweka pembeni kuningunika kwangu and i will remove the face of my sadness na nitaondoa hii sura ya kusikitika and i will put on na nitavaa a smile on my face sura ya tabasamu because i then understood kwa sababu hapo nikaelewa women can complain kwamba wanawake wanaweza kunungunika because they have many reasons to complain kwa sababu wana sababu nyingi za kunungunika women suffer wanawake wanateseka because there are so many reasons for women to suffer kwa sababu kuna sababu nyingi za wanawake kuteseka lakini kuna the grace of god neema ya Mungu that can make you ambayo inaweza kukufanya uweze kuondoa kila hali ya kunungunika change the face of your sadness na kubadilisha ile sura yako ya ya uzuni na kuweza kuvaa tabasamu all, all kuambia wanawake wengine wote yes you know ndio unafahamu nyumbani kwako so kuna mambo mengi sana unaweza kunungunika kuhusu katika ofisi yako so kuna mambo mengi kuna hali ya kunyanyasika so kijinsia kuna mambo mengi even in office 
hata katika maofisi even in raising your children hata katika kukuza watoto even wako even in your business hata katika biashara yako so many things kuna mambo mengi sana you can complain about tunaweza kunyanungunikia you know lakini unafahamu nini there's nothing good like being a woman who has carry joy every time hakuna kitu chema kama kuwa mwanamke ambaye anabeba furaha kila wakati being a woman that carries smile mwanamke ambaye anatabasamu and give back life to those who are going through na kuwarejeshea uzima wale ambao wanapitia hali ya kuteseka yes ndio oh it is in the book of job actually iko katika kitabu cha ayubu yes ndio I shall put aside my complaints nitaweka pembeni kuninginika kwangu and I shall put aside na nitaweka pembeni my sad face na sura yangu ya huzuni and I will put na nitavaa a smile nitavaa tabasamu on my face kwenye uso wangu I felt fire nikajisikia moto within me ndani mwangu I say yes nikasema ndio nitakwenda even if i will be able to put a smile on one woman hata kama nitaweza tukumfanya mwanamke mmoja atabasamu it matters a lot itakuwa ni kitu ambacho kina kinaleta mguso even if i can go in a, in, a, in a family where marriage is about to, to be broken hata kama nitaenda kwenye familia ambapo kuna ndoa ambayo iko katika hali mbaya and tell that woman na kumwambia huyo mwanamke men don't like women who complain a lot wanaume hawapendi wanawake ambao wananungunika sana like women who are every time joyful. Leo wanakini wanapenda wanawake ambao wana furaha kila wakati. Wanawakaribisha waume zao wakiwa na tabasamu. Women who are positive. Wanawake ambao wako chanya. Then the men came. Alafu sasa jina likaja. Mwanamke wa mguso. Someone ni mwanamke with a positive influence. Ambaye anaweza kuwagusa watu wengine kuichanya kwa hali ya chanya. Because in influence we have negative influence and positive influence katika kushawishi kuna kushawishi